Tone. Today we're going to be showing you a three-step correction on a heavily oxidized fiberglass gel-coated travel trailer. This is an Oliver Legacy Elite 2. Uh, the process we use may vary depending on the condition of the trailer. Uh, this one's been sitting out in the sun. It's a 2020, but it's been left outside and it's heavily oxidized. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the products we use or how we go about correcting and coating these trailers, visit our website. We're going to hop up on the roof and show you our process. Our step, first step is going to be a heavy cutting compound from Glide Coat on a wool pad with a rotary. We're going to apply quite a bit of this heavy cutting compound so we can work in a 2x2 two two area. Without the rotary gone, we'll spread some of it out and then we'll turn it to the lowest speed and just slowly apply it to the surface so that it doesn't sling the compound all over the trailer. After it's spread out about like this, we'll turn it up to the working speed. We usually set it about 1600 and then just slowly work in a cross hatch pattern. surface is pretty much free of all the heavy oxidation we're left with a lot of swirls and small scratches so the next step in our three-step correction would be a light cutting compound for this we're going to use glide coats nano compound and a maroon heavy cutting foam pad on a dual action polisher I should script this a little bit more. So just like before, we're gonna try to spread this evenly in our working space. Start at the lowest speed. Then we're going to turn it up to about 4,500 RPM. This is where the speed that we work at. We're going to make three slow cross hatch patterns again.
So that pretty much concludes the second step. We'll wipe away any excess polish or compound again. Make sure we get all that off the surface. That mostly took out all the swirls and larger scratches left behind from the heavy cutting compound. And there's still a slight bit of dullness and a, a few small scratches and swirls left. To take care of that, we're gonna use Sonax EX0406. It's a really light polish. It takes out all that fine imperfections. We use that on a fine foam pad, these orange pads that we use, along with a DA, dual action uh, polisher. We use about the same amount. Four small dots. Spreads out really well. Lowest speed. So now that it's spread out really well and we're not gonna have to worry about it flinging any of the polish on the trailer, we'll work this back up to about 4,500 RPM and work in a cross hatch pattern, do about three passes depending on what it needs. the excess polish off of it. And then to ensure that we removed all the oxidation and have a good surface ready for ceramic coating, we're now gonna alcohol wipe it. Take a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a rag. We get that all nice and dried up. We'll take our gloss meter, it's been calibrated, set it on the surface. 89. You're looking, the higher the number is better. Factory reads 80. We're looking for anything over 80, so 89 is ready for a ceramic coating. Where it started, this is about 4.2. This trailer is heavily oxidized. 4.3. And now that we've done our three step correction, we're reading 89, 92. So now that we've finished the three step correction on this part of the Oliver, we're gonna repeat the process over the entire trailer. Once we've finished the three step correction on all the fiberglass on the Oliver, we're then going to need to protect it with something. We recommend having it professionally ceramic coated to prevent any further UV damages. This concludes our three-step correction on a fiberglass travel trailer. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in any of the products, any of the polishes or compounds or tools that we use, we're gonna link them in the description, make, you, make it easier to navigate. Thank you. Thank you.